Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the late, late, late Wednesday edition of the Monday Market Report. Uh, yeah, kind of confusing a little bit, but uh, yeah, I didn't have the opportunity to post this video on Monday, let alone Sunday night like I usually do. But better late than never, and I think the theme for this particular video um, is an interesting one. All right, uh, you're going to look at a few coins on the list that people have found it, just in change or, you know, it just some of the most unassuming coins are on this list. Now, we're not going to have any $10,000 plus dollar type coins in this list today. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit more pedestrian in nature, if you want to call it that. A uh, $1,000 penny is no slouch. <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination but before we get started as always i gotta do my youtube thing so if this is your first time here welcome like share subscribe hit that bell for instant notification and i did just um uh post up uh, on my channel the big holiday giveaway for blue ridge silverhound is going to occur starting december 10th you have an opportunity to win some fabulous prizes Believe me, it's fabulous. Over $1,000 in goods. There will be five top winners. Of course, that uh, that top prize is going to be an absolutely gorgeous full compilation set that I put together of the 1909 to 1995 Lincoln Scent album uh, housed in a beautiful regal blue Whitman album. Uh, you're going to enjoy a lot of the coins that I have found in there and will make a great beginner set for someone that's looking to get into coins why not jump on there so let's go ahead and start out the monday market report of course this is the week ending november 10th we are already four or five days beyond that but that's okay let's go ahead and recap what happens starting with our big ebay sale and again this is a coin that i've touted as being a very searchable coin okay you just got to know what to look for and just to be really on point with the type of coins that do exist, primarily coins that are the most sought after. Okay, this 1990 Lincoln Proof coin right here is featured in a set that traditionally costs somewhere between six to eight dollars. It's cheap, but this is your opportunity to find a huge, huge, huge valuable coin. And this is the No S Lincoln Proof Cent. Now, traditionally, these coins would have a small letter S beneath the date this one not it doesn't um call it die abrasion call it just you know the mint martin just wasn't on the master die when this was produced it's kind of hard to say it's a mint mix up but it's one in which that is very sought after in the coin community for what it is now this one right here is a really high graded pcgs proof 69 full red it is also a deep cameo coin. It has a wonderful frosting on there along with the mirrored fields that you would expect for this generation of proof coin. Now this one right here sold for $6,152 on November 5th. All right, uh, a real recent sale. Uh, as a matter of fact, I also wanted to shout out Eagle Eye Rare Coin. Okay, that's Rick Snow's uh, eBay store. Okay, he is the host of this coin, the one that did sell it. And uh, some of you may know him as being the foremost expert in Indian head scent attribution. He's your man. Uh, so be sure to check out his website or his eBay store, eerc.com, if you're into Indian head scents and some other great stuff. Uh, he's a wonderful guy, too. So that one did sell, but let's go ahead and jump into some of the great collections au auction listings that wrapped up last week and uh, we have a number of surprises on here again people are cashing in some of their uh roll finds and just general finds you know in general <laughs> uh but the first coin that we have on here is going to be um the, probably the atypical on the list but it's a 1985 lincoln cent this one graded out PCGS Mint State 68 Plus Full Red. Of course, as you guys know, this is the top pop grade for this coin. It's the highest of the high. This one sold for $1,293.75. I always like to tell folks, okay, be absolutely cautious when you're getting into 
um, grading coins of this caliber. It's a really, really dicey situation, okay? You can either hit it big, like this individual did here with the 68 plus red, or if you're a grade lower at 67, you're talking about a coin that's not worth probably 30 bucks. You'll be lucky if you get your grading fee back as a result. So be careful when you're grading these high grade moderns. So the next coin I want to talk about is exactly what I had mentioned at the beginning of the video. Okay, this is an obvious, obvious, obvious coin roll find or pocket change find, whatever you want to call it, based on the actual uh, appearance of this coin. Okay, it's been around the block a few times. You know, it's been in many cash registers. It's changed hands a number of times. You can tell by the oxidation and just the overall kind of like light wear that this coin exhibits. But this is a 1972 Lincoln set, okay? And it's not just any 1972. This is the rarest doubled die out of the whole date, okay? Some would, some would argue and say that the die number one with the strong doubling is the strongest and the most rare and the most valuable. It's just not. This one right here is die number four, okay? So for 1972, there is, I believe, 10 or 11 various... Uh, double die offers that you could find okay which is really nice um, but this one right here is a PCGS Mint State 64 red brown okay so again it's seen a little bit of action in commerce uh, this is also attributed as being FS 104 in the cherry pickers guide and this one sold for $1,687.50 a pretty nice score okay pretty nice find and um, that's a nice quick flip, almost $1,700 for this coin straight out of change. Know what you're looking for. This is one of the coins that people want. So we do have another uh, Lincoln cent here. It's a 55D. Not exactly what I would say, you know, the most rarest of coins. It's actually very plentiful out in circulation, let alone in, you know, your coin shops will probably have these for a quarter. You just don't know it. You just need to know exactly grade wise what you're looking at so this one here is a pcgs mint state 67 plus full red example okay it's a top pop coin and this one believe it or not sold for four thousand three hundred thirty one dollars and 25 cents okay the more most likely spot of which this was discovered was probably in a bu roll okay bu rolls of this particular date can be had for between 10 and 15 dollars so it's a small kind of price to pay to possibly finding something that is absolutely undeniably huge for a registry set. And someone absolutely opened their wallet to own this example. So of course we have uh, one that's outside of what I consider my modern criteria for the Monday Market Report. But again, I love talking about the 1943 Steel Sense. This one right here is a San Francisco minted example it's a PCGS Mint State 68. It is also CAC certified. Again, a very sought after coin that seems to not drop in price at all in spite of the pop reports. This one sold for $2,651.62. Absolutely amazing coin. Um, and one of my favorites. So, so we do have one nickel on the list uh, we don't have much more than that believe it or not but we have a 50d 1950 denver uh, of course as you guys know this is the key date very affordable and high grades uh raw okay uh, you could get them for around 10 to 15 dollars uh in mint state 64 ish grades and generally they're all well struck but finding one of this caliber that you see here by the way it's a sunset collection provenance piece okay this is a pcgs mint state 67 plus with full steps so it's got that nice sh uh, strong strike which most of them do anyways this one is also uh qa certified and it also exhibits some pretty nice toning uh all aside this one sold for 1908 dollars pretty nice coin for a registry set collection so we have a couple dimes to highlight here, and uh, these are worth mentioning, only because we don't talk about Roosevelt dimes that often, but today we have a 1954. This is a Philadelphia minted coin right here. It is an NGC graded Mint State 68 star. Okay, the star is the 
just the eye appeal okay you got some beautiful toning on this coin along with the next one and because of this kind of eye appeal um, these coins sell for a lot of money even the most undesirable of denominations by today's standards primarily because they haven't had their new design update on this but this one sold for $990 okay pretty respectable amount of money for such a beautiful coin and guess what it's not a full bands which is crazy okay some would say oh it has to have a full torch full bands for it to be worth a lot of money much like the mercury dimes well, I appeal counts too, uh, in spite of the, you know, the non-existent banding on this coin. But anyways, I digress. So we have another dime here for you. And in this case, we have a 1945S, a San Francisco minted example. This is an NGC Mint State 68 star. So it's got even beautiful toning on this one as well. However, this one does have full torch. Uh, the coins during the 40s, since the beginning of this series in 46, are all known to have some pretty nice strikes. So it's no surprise that this one did have full torch. And because of that, it sold for $1,350. Very nice example. So we have uh, one other Roosevelt that I wanted to discuss, and it's going to be this 1946S Roosevelt Dime. Okay, this one, however, has a little bit of a cool little... Uh, variety type uh, this one is the um, the serif mint mark edition okay so the mint mark on reverse has a different uh, design type uh, above all the other ones that exist for the date this one is referred to as FS 504 in the cherry pickers guide as well this one graded out PCGS mint state 66 with a full torch or full bands and this one sold ladies and gentlemen for fourteen hundred and thirty one dollars again proving that roosevelt dimes does have that dedicated collector base pretty nice coin so we do have a uh well this is a, actually a pretty crazy uh addition to the list a 1983d washington quarter again one of those dates that i have proclaimed over the last couple years as being one of the tougher dates to find in high mint state grades primarily due to the fact that the u.s mint never produced mint sets for this date or in 1982. So finding high grade examples today is extremely tough. And you're, we're talking about a date that never got hoarded um, during its time. Of course, the Washington quarters have been out for almost 50 years. So by that point, you know, it's like, ah, eh, you know, it's one of those designs in early eighties that was kind of floundering a little bit. Uh, there wasn't a lot of hoarding going on. But this one I hear is a PCGS Mint State 67. Really nice example. And it sold for $1,243.74. Pretty nice coin. Well, it's really got nice luster. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's really nice. So the next quarter that we have here, because uh, someone had mentioned that, you know, uh, high grade proofs, top of the line, proof 70 grade with deep cameo during the 70s and 80s had mentioned that there's really not a lot of value. Uh, well, this one might actually change your mind. It's a 73S. Talk about some of the, the most kind of like more common proof dates that you could think of between this and the 72, 74. The 70s have been pretty much a, a, a very kind of underappreciated decade for proof coins. But this one right here is a PCGS proof 70. So it's the perfect grade with deep cameo. So it's got the frost and the mirrors to match. And this one sold for a bomb, $2,621 and 25 pennies. Really nice example. So there you go. Change your mind, folks. So the next quarter that we have here, uh, again, falling outside my modern kind of range, but it's a 48D, a really nice coin, a PCGS Mint State 67 Plus. Really nice full feature toning on this one, of course. This is again a decade in which a lot of coins were beautifully struck uh, so you, you're not going to find too many strike issues during this time but this one sold for twelve hundred ninety three dollars and seventy five cents ta-da very nice and we got a couple um the last three coins on the list are uh, very surprising to say the least although i've talked about each one of these before at one point but we're going to start it out with a 1966 kennedy half dollar of this of course 
is from the Special Mint set. Uh, this is the pseudo replacement for the Proof Coins during that time when the US Mint was trying to pull out of the Proof game. But due to popular demand, they wanted it back, so they made Special Mint sets. Uh, this one is an NGC Mint State 68, okay, which also features a little bit of a cameo, as notated on the slab label. This one, however, is a doubled die obverse, okay, it's also categorized as FS106 in the Cherry Picker's Guide, and this one sold for a $1,416.38, really nice discovery piece out of a very inexpensive special mint set that can be had for under $10. Again, proving once again that some of those proof and mint sets uh, that exist out there uh, have some pretty nice finds so keep an eye out for coins that look like this really nice example and it always seems like every single week uh, I talk about the Cheerios Sacagawea dollar okay we have another one here this is a 2000 P so it's only minted on a Philadelphia minted coins as you guys know these were included in specially marked boxes of Cheerios cereal at the release of this uh, Millennium coin okay there was also a penny so the odds of finding the actual dollar was pretty slim during that time okay we've bought a few boxes couldn't find any of that stuff we have some pennies though but this one right here has the uh, the highly detailed engraved feathers uh, on the eagle on the reverse uh, it is also categorized as FS 1401 in the Cherry Picker's Guide, and this is also a PCGS Mint State 68, a really nice example. Uh, this one sold for $5,568.75. It is a lot of money, but we've seen these kind of drop down uh, here in the last few years just because of extra supply hit in the market. People are actually finding out that these coins are very valuable, um, and then they're turning around and getting it graded and you know trying to capitalize on the value that it still has. So really nice example, $5,500, you can't go wrong here. And finally, we are going to end off on uh, another dollar, okay? And uh, this one right here, you know, not a lot of people collect Susan B. Anthony's. I, I'm probably in the, uh, the minority. I do have a few of these myself. Um, I don't have collections of it, but this is a coin right here that um, I've enjoyed cherry picking uh, out of a really cheap, three coin set um, that was made available as a uh, collector set during you know during the 1979 era uh, there was a PDNS coin in this blister pack sold by the men it was very cheap too it was like four bucks or something like that but this run right here uh, exhibits the uh, cool variety which is called the wide rim of course the rim butts up really close to the date uh, you can tell just on the, the date uh, of the one and the nine um you know how close in proximity the actual edge rim is going to be on there is going to be your telltale sign so this one right here is a pcgs mint state 67 it's a nice high grade and this one sold for two thousand eighty one dollars and 25 cents there you go guys a nice pleasing unassuming list of wonderful coins that can be had and found in cheap ways you know cheap proof sets inexpensive mint sets bu rolls that are between 10 and 20 dollars there is a wide range and a wide scope of getting into the hobby and trying to make some money by some of the least expensive ways you don't have to buy that thousand dollar coin and then try and flip it to make 200 dollars. okay there are people that do that and they do it very well but there are also dealers as well but there are some of those least expensive outlets that you could take to uh, you know kind of uh, pad your bankroll or perhaps you know upgrade into some better bigger coins whatever your fancy is so again I'm your host Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound I want to thank you guys again for joining in on this coin report albeit a little bit late the Wednesday edition of the Monday market coin report has been brought to you by Sean of Blue Ridge um, as always always coinaholics we are discovering together like share subscribe I will see you next time Stay tuned December 10th for the big holiday giveaway. Okay, you don't want to miss it. You guys have a wonderful day and I shall see you soon.